Ellen McCauley at Prairie Adapter, we're talking about summer tips. We have this mindset that you have to have cereal for breakfast, or a bagel, or an English muffin, or you have to have eggs. You can have turkey for breakfast. No one will knock on your door and haul you off to the police station. I heard you had turkey for breakfast. Get out of here. You can eat whatever you want for breakfast that's pro. You can have fish for breakfast. Do you think they had bagels when Jesus was alive? Do you think he said, pass the cereal, I'll have tricks? No. <laughs> he was eating fish, probably, or figs, or dried fruit. You could have deviled eggs with hummus in it. You can have apple slices. Joanne, don't you make a good deviled egg with Who makes a deviled egg with hummus? Somebody does. have hummus uh, salsa. Salsa. Joanne makes deviled eggs with salsa. That's great. Also, people are eating too much cheese. They're cheese, cheese, cheese. So watch that. You can have too much. Also, you can have a bowl of cherry tomatoes as a snack. I don't know about you, but they taste so good. Mm -hmm. Taste so good. Also, say so long to fast food. I have not had fast food in ten and a half years. No Whopper, no Burger King, no, no fish fillet, whatever you call them, fish of a jig or whatever. Because fast food is not good food, it is not healthy food. and and I have survived. And I say these things not so you say, oh, Ellen thinks she's great, she hasn't had fast food, blah, blah, blah. And then you say, well, I have to, there's nothing else. That's why you have to have some supplies in your car, somewhere where you can have it. Also, a spray mister for oil or for things. Uh, Connie bought me a strip spray mister, we love it. Where did you get it? Oh, I don't know, Connie bought it for me, I'll ask her. Also, uh, kebabs. I love kebabs. You put an onion, you put a pepper, you put some chicken, you know, you just stick them on a stick. Become a herb expert. I never can say that word. Is it herb? 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 Herb. Silent H. Silent H. Okay, become an herb. You can tell I eat a lot of herbs. I haven't, I'm not that big on it. I love leftovers. So many people, they, they eat a meal and they go, I'm sick of it. I, I don't really get sick of things. If I have turkey meatloaf on Monday, because we mix it up, put it on a salad on Tuesday, you've you got to plan ahead and exercise options. There are people in this group that never went to the gym, and now they go to the gym, and they've lost 50 pounds. There are people in this room that never got off the couch, and now they walk, run, and they've lost weight and kept it off. Swimming, pool aerobics, bicycle, kayak. You can go to Beaver Lake, rent a kayak, and just paddle along. It's so beautiful. It feels so good. Get out. You must exercise. Twisting, bending, hula hooping. Go to a wall and do some push-ups. Power walking. Swimming. Now, people go and they lay by the pool and they jump in and they get wet. And then they get out and they lay by the pool and they say, yeah, I was swimming. <laughs> Do you know what swimming is? Back and forth, laps, this, this, this. If you do that, then you write swimming. You can do a stationary bike in the pool. Get a stationary bike. Also, never reward yourself with food. Avoid boredom, avoid stress, give yourself Gifts like a pedicure, a manicure, a massage. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Also, I've included a summer prayer. And I am going to read it for you now. May you breathe in the beauty of summer with its power of transformation. May this beauty permeate all that feels unbeautiful in you. May the God of summer give us beauty. May you seek and find spaces of repose during these summer months. May these moments refresh and restore the tired places within you. May the God of summer give us rest. May you be open to times of celebration and recreation that are so much a part of summer. May you find happiness in these times of play and leisure. May the God of summer give us joy. May the eyes see the wonder of summer's colors. May these colors delight you and entice you into contemplation and joy. May, May the, the God, God of summer, summer give us inner light. 
May you feel energy of summer rains penetrating thirsty gardens, golf courses, lawns, and farmlands. May these rains remind you that your inner thirst needs quenching. May your inner self be refreshed, restored, and renewed. May, May the God of summer give us what we need for healing. May you savor fresh produce that comes to your table and enjoy the fruits of summer's bounty. May the God of summer give us a sense of satisfaction in the works of our hands. May you find shelter when the stormy skies of summer threaten your safety. May the God of summer give us shelter when inner storms threaten our peace of mind and heart. May you enjoy the unexpected and find surprises of beauty and happiness as you travel the roads of summer vacation. May the God of summer lead us to amazing discoveries as we travel the inner roads of our soul as well. I'm going to stop right there, Bobby. Amen. That prayer is